The I-90 highway is still closed due to COVID-19 restrictions. The restrictions have been in place since March and have not yet been lifted. The highway closure has impacted many individuals and businesses in the area, causing delays and disruptions to transport, traffic, and transport infrastructure. This closure has impacted interstate transportation, with increased delays and high costs resulting from the blockade. Those traveling from state to state have been unable to use the highway and have had to find alternative routes or modes of transportation. The lack of mobility has resulted in reduced competitiveness for businesses and hotel and motel owners reliant on visitors. Many other businesses and trades have been affected negatively by the I-90 closure, with reduced demand and resulting layoffs and economic downturns in certain areas. Local governments have had to consider emergency measures, such as increasing subsidies and welfare entitlements, to assist people who have been hurt by the economic downturn. While the closure is still in place, some restrictions have been eased, allowing for limited travel on the highway. This travel, however, is restricted to transportation of goods and services, and for those traveling for essential purposes only. The closure of the highway has also had an impact on recreational activities in the area with fewer people able to take advantage of the natural spaces and outdoor settings. As the I-90 closure continues, individuals and businesses in the area continue to be affected, with many facing uncertain futures. The most serious impact has been for small businesses reliant on travelers, with many feeling the pinch as customers dwindle and costs rise. The disruption to the supply chain has also had an impact, with increased prices for consumers as a result of less efficient transport systems. All sectors of the economy have been affected, with slashed profits, reduced production, and uncertain outcomes for those businesses harder hit. Many individuals have been unable to use the I-90 to travel for special occasions or to visit family, with longer travel times and additional costs on other routes. Additionally, some dependents have been unable to visit overseas relatives due to the closure of the I-90. The lack of information on when the highway will reopen has caused many uncertainties and frustrations for all involved. Local politicians and authorities are monitoring the situation closely and considering their options, with the possibility of reopening the highway whenever it is safe to do so. It is important to remember that while the I-90 is still closed, there are alternative options available to both travelers and businesses. Some have found new routes and other transportation solutions to minimize the impact of the closure, and to ensure they are still able to complete their journeys and business activities. Despite the challenges, many have before them. The I-90 is still one of the most reliable highways in the region, and its closure has affected many people's livelihoods. The situation is likely to remain difficult until the highway is reopened, and the economic disruption is likely to persist for some time still. In the meantime, Travelers should plan ahead and be aware of limited access to some areas and additional costs on alternative routes.
Although the I-90 is still closed, enabling the safe operation of interstate transportation, there are ways for businesses and individuals to cope in the meantime. For those impacted, the expected reopening of the highway is a light at the end of the tunnel, with many hoping that normal service can soon be resumed.